You said that you really kind of embraced the leadership role among the teammates. Uh, how have you able to, been able to do that uh, coming in out of the transfer pool? Uh, for, for me, it was just kind of understanding the culture here. That was the biggest thing for me, just understanding how they run things and like kind of buying into that and then kind of leading. They said you can't really lead unless you kind of give first. So I kind of just like did things quietly without, you know, telling people and then people would notice that. And then, you know, people would come to me for advice and I just started being more vocal and, you know, kind of just helped them to bring me into that leadership role. But kind of still sitting back and letting you know, I don't want to overstep on any of these vets. You know, they did their time here. So I just got here and I just want to do what, what they brought and what they wanted to want me to do. So you transfer here in January, worked through uh, spring. It's getting started in the fall now. How uh, comfortable would you say you are with the other system and your new home? Oh, I love it here. It's, it's fun here. Uh, I love the players here. I love the coaches here. And I especially love the strength staff here, man. Uh, I came in around, what, like 350? Got down to, I'm at 315 now. So it's really a lot of weight. I'm, School of North, I struggled a little bit to lose some weight, but now that I'm here, I kind of got on I got on track. Love helped me get on track. We kind of had that face-to-face -face track about like my career and what I had to do to get to where I want to be. So he helped me with that. And then bringing in Brandon, our nutritionist and dietitian, she helped also set me straight with that. So it's kind of been amazing just being here. And just all the all the resources they have here kind of just helped me become a better athlete. In the spring, you talked about how much you felt like this team is like a family and that you had like brothers, yeah. right? Uh -huh. um, how do you feel like that connection has kind of led you into this fall camp where you're all grinding together? Um, it just, I think it just means a lot more. You know, you guys know about Special Web. I feel like that was a really rough, rough time for us. And I feel like that brings us a lot closer and like, we have our DNA traits that we talk about every day, and like we, we, every time we break down, we say our four DNA traits, and then we say four, so that it allows us to remember who we're doing it for. And like, it's really awesome because like every day you wake up, man, you just never know. So I'm grateful for her. just being here out here playing football with all the boys, you know, and just kind of going through this grind. It, it sucks sometimes, but like, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be playing the game still, man. So that's all I can really say. A couple times during fall camp, a couple times during <laughs> media day, and now during fall camp, Dan has brought up the fact that football is to be played a certain way. How is football supposed to be played? What do we kind of clean from that? With a lot of, with a lot of aggression, but you got it's with a lot of controlled aggression. You got to learn how to be poised, you know. We kind of learned our lesson today. We were a little too aggressive today, and we, so we ran a little, but that's all right. But he's just, it's just, how we how we practice is how he want he wants us to play the game. So he wants none of the smack talking, you know, none of the extra stuff, you know. What he wants is us to have clean practices because practice translates into how we play in the game. So if we practice, like if we practice and we you know have a bunch of penalties, you know, a lot of smack talking, you know, that's how it's, it's going to translate to the game, and that's not something Dan's about. So we kind of respect him and what he wants, cause, and we kind of stand behind him because you know he's a great dude. Besides so like the weight loss that you've had. Yeah. Besides the weight loss you've had, a year ago you were in Seattle. Uh -huh. You consider yourself a, a lot different player and how optimistic now than you were then? Yeah. And how optimistic are you for the people? For yourself? Uh, I, I feel like I've gained my football IQ has gone up a lot. Between Tony, Tony Toyoti, Tony Washington, Cam, Tosh, we have all these great guys that helped me kind of open up my game, you know, I'm, I'm slowly learning like backfield sets and kind of how to play blocks and like learning wide, like what wide outs, you know, like those formations and also learning the back end too, because I feel like that's important for, you know, the future that helps me be vocal on the field like I am off the field. And that helps me just, you know, kind of help the, help the backers control up front so they don't have to worry about everything. And then for me, it's, I don't know, it's exciting, you know, it's, I feel a lot, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot stronger, you know. I feel like I know a lot more, so it's like I'm just excited to like step up the pads, you know, and just get out there and play football. You mentioned getting the 315. Is that about where you're trying to stay? Uh, that's that's where they want me. I want to be. I want to get to 300. I want to move a little better, you know. I look a little slow, you know, so I want to, you know, move a little better. So I, I, I got a lot. I got. I feel like I got a lot of speed. It's just the weight kind of holding it down a little. But <laughs> but I feel a lot better though. So yeah, I want to get to like at least 300 by the season, you know. And I feel like right now, I feel like I lost it in good weight, so I feel a lot. I feel stronger, so and I, I'm still able to play those blocks how I want to. So that's perfect. So that's probably where it is. In terms of working with Coach Love and Coach Beckham, like, is there one or two or multiple things that they've done that have been really helpful for you? And like you said, getting quicker, feeling lighter, feeling more explosive. Oh, just they were just real with me. <laughs> they were like, if you want to play in the league, you got to learn how to control your weight. And I was like, that's my goal. So like, that's the biggest thing. Is like. 
you lose weight, you got to be real with yourself. You got to really sit down and look at what you're doing and be like, what do you got to cut out? If you want to, it's like one of those things. You want to be great. Like, what do you got? What are the things you got to sacrifice to be great? That's that's really what they came up with me. Like, talking, I know. Like, you want to go to the league. Like, you got to control your weight. And like, I took, I, I like just bought it. And I was like, man, I'm. I got to a new place, man. I want to control my weight, and I just bought into it. A uh, ton of extra cardio and just like extra Saturdays, you know, when they have pancakes, I'm over there doing cardio instead. So it kind of sucks, but it's all right. But at the end of the day, I know it's all out of love because I know I know love. He wants the best for me. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Casey and Jordan coming from Nebraska. Is there a sense of chemistry between those two? Uh, yeah, I feel like they play together. They played in TOD's defense, so they understand it, and so. We kind of let them run the we kind of let them run the defensive drills just because you know they've been with him and they know his standards and then we kind of just follow behind it because they know what he wants so it's been helpful though to have them here. How do you balance that as a defensive lineman, gaining speed, shedding the weight, but also keeping that power and speed? Uh, the biggest thing is with Love. He he doesn't let he doesn't let us lighten up our weight. So he'll, the one thing he did with me this offseason too was he pushed me and I, I've touched weight I've never touched before. Like I touched 455 bench press and I've never touched that, you know. It's, and so with me losing a lot of weight, he just he just told me like I gotta kinda put the right things in my body and still make sure I'm pushing that same weight, you know, and still learning how to push it with the weight I have on my body. So talk about the growth period and web passing, like how do you think that affected team chemistry? Do you guys think you got any closer Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I feel like it was it was weird for me, especially just coming in. I, funny story. The first thing I <laughs> the first time I met Spence, the first thing he said was, "Yo, you're the kid from the Dub." <laughs> He's like, "I can't dab you up until after you wear your organ gear." So and then it goes on. You know, we go through spring and then spring finish. We we finish our spring game. He comes up to me and really dabs me. He was like. Now you're a duck, and I was like, I was just like, I knew he was joking, but like it was funny to see that, you know. And I just think that Spence was like a light to the team, you know. He was always outgoing, you know. He's hilarious. He always had, you know, he always brought good energy. So like, I feel like with his passing, that just it just really made us closer as a team, you know. It just it let us like just set aside like any like it, it made us open up to each other. Really, that's what it was like. Like dudes just started opening up to each other, you know, sharing how they felt. Cause it was like, it's one of those things. Like you just lost your brother, you know. We we had it the day that morning. We had a talk about gratitude. And I was fortunate to be in this group, and he just talked about how he just missed us. You know, he was just like, like you guys, my brother. So like, just that right there, you know, just made me appreciate this team even more. And just like, that's something that always stick with me. Was like, he really loved the boys here, man. This is like, they were brothers to him. No matter what, he loved you the same way. So it was just, I think it just brought us all together and just made us realize that. Like, this this football thing we need more now too. It's like when stuff gets hard, it's like we got to do stuff with Spence too. It's just like that's just the standard. It's like he's not here with us anymore, man. So it's like we got to be grateful and just bust our asses. Look far from our friends, but bust our asses just to make sure that we, you know, set these straight for him. Because I know he would love to be out here with us. Was there anyone who really talked to like you know, stepping into play and like opening up? Was there any like one of your teammates that, like stepped up first and just kind of got everyone together and said, like, you know, "This is what we have to do." Uh, yeah. It was a lot of guys. There was, there was, there was BA, there was Popo, uh, there was Biwo, uh, Keon. But it was a lot of guys that just kind of stepped up and was like, we had that meeting the next day, man. It was just like they kind of just got up, you know. And you could just, you could just, you could just feel the pain in everyone's heart, you know. Like, there was just things that you know they didn't get to say to him. So, you know, it's kind of tough, but I feel like those guys just opening up. It kind of got them out of their comfort zone because they're vets, so they're kind of like, you know, we're vets. We're gonna we're gonna kind of help me. You know, it was like it's hard for them to kind of you know do both. But then now that we experienced that, they kind of all just kind of took that role and like, there's no more being quiet. You know, it's like I gotta do this for the team, and we kind of just bought in and just kind of helped everyone realize that like all the younger guys can talk to them. You know, like it doesn't matter what it's about. It can be about girlfriends. It can be about family. You know, like the smallest things. You know, like depression. Like, but like that's that's the level we're on now. Is like, we're like. I feel like the young guys are willing to open up to us and we're willing to open up for them just to, you know, kind of connect. And that's that's really what builds team chemistry. There's been a lot of moving parts in this defensive line with DJ finding a home on defense, Brandon moving around a little. Do you feel like you've been able to find a real goal on the defense that have been here a few months ago? Uh, yeah, I think, my, <laughs> like I said last time I was interviewed, eat up blocks. That's my thing. Eat up blocks and just kind of make some havoc, make havoc in the backfield. And I hope, I hopefully I accomplish that this season, you know, but Mainly, my main goal this season is just have my boys eat. Like, have the guys behind me eat no matter if it's 
Flo, <laughs> Hefe, if it's Noah, if it's any, like anyone behind me, I just want them to eat. I just want my boys to eat them. Like, they're dead. Like, I feel my role is just to eat up blocks and have my dudes shine, and that's all I want to do. So. That's something that who has been shining? Uh, who has impressed you on the defense so far? With defense, I think well, Brandon has already been shining, but I feel like he stepped it up to a whole other game. I feel like he stepped it up to a whole other level. That's really helped our defense, and he's kind of taking control of our D line too, and like making sure we get extra work and like just making sure we're on top of our things. And I also think Noah and Flo have stepped up a lot and just kind of controlling defense. And I feel like Hefe has become a lot vocal, so Jeffrey be able to know Hefe, but he's become a lot vocal and just like kind of making sure we know what we're doing. And then also. Who else? Uh, uh, Popo. Popo's Popo's opened up a lot. So I think Popo's as the old the old the old man of the group. I feel like he's kinda stepped up and kinda oh, yeah, no, taking the role of like making sure we're all good too and just kinda like understanding the meaning of how to play D line and order. Yeah, and knowing that uh, the season's only a few weeks out, have you noticed a sense of you know, excitement with that group? Oh yeah. It's, it's slowly picking up. Right? It's like in practice, you know, we're a lot, I feel like we're a lot, just we're a lot more aggressive because we just know that season's right there. So it's like we're, we're trying to just train our bodies and just train our bodies so that when it comes game time, we we're able to play at that same speed. And I feel like that helps us get better. That helps uh, the offense get better. So, oh. Is there any coaches that specific kind of match up that level of intensity you guys bring? Tosh. <laughs> Tosh, for sure. Tosh, Tosh, and Love, Love. That dude just got some, he just got some amazing energy. That's like, that's just someone you want to be around every day. You know, when you come and live and you're just sleepy, you know, oh, he'll wake you up, he'll wake you up with just his energy. And then Tosh is just high pace, a lot of energy, you know, loves the game of football. So you know him, he, him and Zomsky. So you'll hear him say Zomsky's a lot, but he's loud. You guys probably interviewed him, so you guys know he's loud. So like, that's just one of those coaches that you love to have, you know, him and love are just a great combo.